On this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your Frame Meister to get the best possible picture out of the Sony PlayStation game console. Game systems like the Sony PlayStation are where the XRGB Mini really excels, and it won't take much to get your PlayStation games looking emulator sharp. First, you'll need an RGB SCART cable. Unfortunately, the PlayStation does not offer composite sync, so we'll need to choose another sync method. I recommend using Sync on Luma over Sync on Composite. Using a cable with Sync on Composite may result in some unwanted checkerboarding. Per usual, I purchased mine from RetroGamingCables.co.uk. You can buy these wired to the JP21 spec which is ready to use with the Frame Meister, otherwise you can buy a European wired cable and use a mini DIN adapter for use with the Frame Meister. And that's it. All PlayStations output RGB, so you don't need to hunt down a specific model or mess with any modifications. So with that, here are the settings that I use. Please note, for PlayStation games that run in 480i, such as Dead or Alive, you'll want to use the Natural Image Mode. For 240p games, stick with the Picture Mode. As always, one of the XRGB Mini's strong points are its handling of 240p content over SCART, and these settings should give you an excellent experience on the big screen.